Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the southeastern desert, on the river south of Mitra's Serenity, building a riverside home. Given how much you guys seem to enjoy the hilltop lodge I built on Sunday, I thought it'd be nice to do another house build before I get back into the larger projects. For this build I decided to mix a couple of different materials together to create a fairly unique looking home. I combined regular stone and wood, with stable and lattice pieces from the new Riders of Iboria DLC, along with some arena pieces from the Blood and Sand DLC, and I chose to use Frontier Stairs from the Savage Frontier DLC as well. On paper this combo kinda sounds a bit weird, I will admit, but it does actually work quite nicely and definitely provides something that is different from most house builds aesthetically in a good way. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly I'm going to start off with the base plate, building a large base plate using stone foundations with an inlay of wooden foundations to create a more homely floor design within the build. I use stairs on either side of the build to create small porches on the front and into the back garden, then using wooden fences to draw out roughly how large I wanted the garden to be. Next for the walls, I followed the format of using arena door frames and windows for obviously those respective pieces, stable walls as the main wall piece, and lattice walls as accents to the ground floor dining room. I fenced off both porches after covering the perimeter of the ground floor, then sectioning off the build into different parts for different rooms, eventually creating two separate closed rooms at the back of the build and an open plan room at the front. I would later separate the larger room at the back of the build into two separate rooms, for a total of four rooms on the ground floor. After building the ground floor walls two tiles high, I then covered the top of the build with wooden ceilings and started off on the roof. I placed stairs in the centre of the build as underneath the roof will be the first floor bedrooms. I built some small extending windows, then building the roof. I built three roofs of varying sizes and formats, building each roof to a point. After the roof I extended the front of the build out a little more, then placing awnings on both porches. I then went back inside the build and used walls to make the upstairs bedroom a little bit smaller.
Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the build from the river, the house is nicely tucked against the cliff and is lit inside with Aquilonian braziers. Entering the build, the house feels nice and cosy. Heading into the left side room, this is a nice little lounge room, where the residents can chill out and talk. Heading back out and into the right side room, this is the dining room and it's nicely decorated with a fireplace along with the lattice walls to provide some nice views of the river. This setup is definitely a little bit more formal than the lounge room and actually serves the purpose of the dining room quite well. Heading back into the corridor and going into the left side room behind the stairs, we reach the storage room, where various things belonging to the residents are stored safely and securely. Heading into the room down the hall from the storage room, we reach the kitchen, which is a compact yet nicely designed kitchen and definitely fits the function that this room serves. Heading upstairs to the bedrooms, this is yet another compact room that is designed to provide a nice comfortable sleeping place for the residents. Finally, the back garden provides some nice views across the nearby waterfall and desert, with the small gazebo being a nice outdoor relaxation place for the residents. And there we have it, a riverside home in the southeastern desert, just south of Mitra's Serenity. Thanks for watching, I wasn't 100% happy with my last house build to be honest, but I think this one is definitely far better. And now I think it's probably time to get back to the bigger builds and start to slowly get through the massive amount of build requests I've got stacked up. 
If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description and if you'd like to support the future of the channel the link to my Patreon is also in the description below with various tiers and rewards including special Discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos, your name at the end of videos and more. On that note a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sir Dialot and Dawn Fox. If you're new here feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Conan Exiles videos coming every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday through December. So if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.